In this video, I'm going to introduce the problem of considering matrices as rotations. So, if we look at our traditional two points, 1, 0, and 0, 1, let's say I want to rotate about the origin. Uh, let's say clockwise by 90 degrees then what's going to happen is this point 1 0 will get rotated round so it is now down here and this point will get rotated round so it is now there so in actual fact what we find is that 1, 0 has rotated around, so it's now 0, minus 1. And 0, 1 has rotated around to become 1, 0. So this is the, the matrix that is a rotation about the origin clockwise by 90 degrees. So what if we said it was a rotation about the origin um, by 180 degrees? So it doesn't matter whether it's clockwise or anticlockwise, obviously, for 180 degrees. So now, what we're going to find is that our point 1, 0 will have rotated round so that it is now over here, and 0, 1 will have rotated round so it is now down here. So 1, 0 has become minus 1, 0, Oh, sorry. Minus 1, 0, put it there. And 0, 1 has become 0, minus 1. So this is a rotation by 180 degrees about the origin. So if I wanted to go one further and I wanted to go uh, clockwise by 270 degrees, or you could see it as anti-clockwise, or counterclockwise if that's if you're American, by 90 degrees. Then what's going to happen is that one zero will rotate round so that it is now there, and zero one will rotate round so it's now there. So zero one, uh, one zero, sorry has gone to 0, 1, and 0, 1 has become zero, uh, minus 1, 0. So, what we have here is the beginnings of some rotations. I can rotate now by uh, 90 degrees, clockwise or anti-clockwise. Okay? I can rotate round by 180 degrees. But what if I want to rotate around by 45 degrees, or by 60 degrees? Um, but in order to do that, I'm going to have to look at this in a much more generic way. So in the next video, I'm going to introduce how we then find rotation matrices that will allow me to rotate by any number of degrees.